All right, guys. Um, Ali Dawa um, told me that Phil had a problem with uh, the video that I uploaded. And um, what I wanted to do was actually allow Phil to show that the video that I put up was actually misrepresenting his point. And if it is misrepresenting his point, then I'm going to take the video down. Okay. So my recollection is that there was a distinction between making an assumption of homology and relying on an assumption of homology, right? So the allegation was that I had said evolution is not based on an assumption of homology, and then I conceded that evolutionists make an assumption of homology. But there's a difference between making an assumption and relying on an assumption, right? So. I think the allegation that you were making, if I've understood your question. I didn't make an allegation, you did. Well, I think you the said I misrepresented that you were making. Right, well, when, when I met Ali Dawa, I'd not actually seen that video. So I, I, I didn't even know it existed. No, but Ali right. said that I misrepresented you. And in fact, he showed me a video yeah, yeah, yeah. of you right. talking to Ali, somebody else recorded right. it, in which you were saying that I completely misrepresented well, well, you. So what, I, what I was saying was, is that there's, 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 you didn't understand the distinction that I was making in that debate. Because what we debated was evolution, whether, whether humans and chips share a common ancestor. And I presented evidence for that. And then what you said was that it's all based on an assumption of homology. And I said, no, it isn't. Right? And then you asked me, right, oh, do evolutionists make an assumption of homology? And I conceded that they, they probably do. Right? But the point I was making was there's a distinction between relying on an assumption and making an assumption. So I'm sure you're familiar with, you know, let's say, Bayesian reasoning. You start with a No, okay, okay no, but I think you're muddying the waters here. Okay, go on. I understand yeah. the difference between making an assumption and relying on an assumption. Yeah. Right. But you said to Ali Dawa yeah. that I misrepresented you in the video. But in the video, there was no distinction being made between relying on... I think the, that is the distinction that was being made. No, no, no. As in, the, the, word, the word relying wasn't even there. All I simply asked you in the video was, is there an assumption of evolution, uh, of homology? And you said no. Then I ask you again and again. No, I said... Okay, okay one second, one second. Now, so you said you didn't watch the video, but you said I misrepresented you. Just and, then, and, and then I asked, is there an assumption of homology? And you said yes. So that's what the contradiction right, but was. The, no, but the, the, there's not a contradiction because the point I'm making is it doesn't rely on an assumption. Of no, that's not that's not right. the question I asked though. No, but no, but the point was you the whole argument. Let us put this in context, right? What is the argument that you were trying to make? Is that the the, the, the evidence for human ancestry is circular, right? Because no, 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 I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say it's circular. No, no, I, no, I, I said I, no, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't. The well, point, the okay, point, well, the, what is the point of the argument? Okay, the point of the argument is that there is an assumption of homology, and if you leave it as an assumption, it's fine. I actually said that, it's fine. But if you turn the assumption into a syllogism in which you say similarities exist because of homology, similarities are here, therefore homology, so that's circular reasoning. So I was, I was making a different point to what you're saying. Why did you raise homology at all? Because you're trying to make an argument of circularity. No, no, no. The, the point I was trying to raise is this. The tree of life has hidden assumptions which people don't talk about. Well, okay. The point. Do you concede that? That the tree of life. Well, no, we weren't debating the tree of life. We were debating whether humans. No, no, no. But you, 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 you just said to my friend right now, Faisal, that when it comes to when he asked you about Darwinian evolution, you cast aside Darwinian evolution and you said you believe in common ancestry. Correct. Okay. Okay. Now, when it comes to the tree of life, right, which is based upon homology, would you agree? It depends what you mean by based on. Okay, do you, do you believe in the tree of life? Okay, 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 do you believe in the tree of life? Do you believe it's yeah, the right... I believe, other, I, I believe we are related to other animals through common ancestry. Universal common ancestry. Well, it could be It could be that there was more than one original thing So you believe not. in a I, pile of... That, 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 that's possible. I don't think that matters. For the debate that we were having, which is really about human... Okay, so just, just, on, just on this tree, right, that, are, they that, hidden, are they hidden assumptions with the tree of life? Are there hidden assumptions? It depends because what you mean by hidden. hidden what are truth, the what are the assumptions right? made the for the tree of life? Hang on, hang on. The, the point I was making, right, was that the evidence for human chimp common ancestry, right, is independent of whether you assume homology or not. You do not need to go in to the or assess your the process that you take of assessing the evidence. You do not need to go into that assessment process with an assumption of homology. You could assume whatever you like, 
the evidence will force a conclusion on you. So we right? not and that is the point. Okay. This is the crucial point. Okay. Right? So if you look at that evidence, for example, the evidence I presented for the nano uh, pseudo G, right, is powerful evidence for evolution. But because but the but, but, but I did no. But this is our. We had a two-hour-long discussion on this. Yeah, yeah. I disagree that there's assumptions. Okay. So you did what? Sorry? I, I disagree that science is assumptionless. That you, you can disagree that science has assumptions. No. no. I disagree with the idea that you can come to the evidence without an assumption. You have to have the assumption of homology. And when it comes no, to the do, okay, right? that, so, that's okay, 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 so, okay. When it comes to the tree of life, okay, okay. When it comes, to, okay, 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 okay. When it comes to the tree of life, have you heard of the origination probabilities and the transitional probabilities? Have I heard of the origination probabilities? What do you mean, like the re origination for the initial first common ancestor? No, the re origin of life. The probability of it, yeah, I mean, are you, are you the for, probability are you, of the origin of life starting, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Oh, I'm aware that there are discussions about that. No, sure. no, but are you aware of the distinction between origination probabilities and transition probabilities? I haven't come from any, from any of those terms. You've never come across those terms? Not that I can recall, I mean, I might have okay. heard about them. And, uh, those two assumptions are there in order for us to construct the tree of life. Okay. Right, but we don't so have to no, no, no. You have to. You, 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 you have we to. We don't have to construct the whole tree of life to no, determine what no, the no, chimps no, share a common No, no, but it's linked. It's linked because the humans and chimpanzees and blade of grass and elephants and everything. No, 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 but okay, okay, okay. But okay, okay, but let, let me let me explain this distinction. Origination probabilities. If you imagine a bead from zero to one, origination probabilities are close to zero. So we assume that life is very rare and it came about once. That's the assumption. And when it comes to transition probabilities, the bead goes from zero to one, close to one. That there's a mechanism by which life transforms. Now, if we change these assumptions, we change the probability of the tree of life. And that's super important because what you just said to my friend right now is actually false. What you actually said was that there's overwhelming evidence for common ancestry, but you never pointed out these hidden assumptions. Oh, okay, because it, they don't matter. No, because right? you didn't know them. No, no, but it doesn't they're matter. They're different. No, they're no, no, different. You, it's not about me. No, well, because you, you didn't know the them. You paper in nature. Oh, no, you but, but this about me. No, so no, 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 no. But you it, it, it is... It, you just no. Let me, let me Okay, reply. sure, sure. Let me reply. Sure, sure. Right, okay? You don't need to make this about me. You can read the paper in nature that sequenced the human chimp... The human... Um, they did the sequence of the chimp genome and they compared it to the human genome. And what that paper said was that the, the data overwhelmingly confirms the hypothesis of common ancestry. And it still has those right. two assumptions I mentioned. Right. Now, the point It still is, has the two assumptions I right. mentioned. So hang on, the let's suppose you change the, the, the probability assumption of the origination, for example. Yep. Right? So... Too close that, to one, what happens? Right. What happens? Well, you'd probably have more uh, types of life. Right? And what if it happens if transition probabilities become close to zero? Common ancestry is dread. Sorry, say again? If the transition probabilities are close to zero... The is, okay, let me you ask can, you... You can, no, but hang on, hang on, you can look at the... Uh, the way we assess things in science, right? This is universal in the scientific method, right? You have a hypothesis... There is no universal scientific method. All right, fair, fair enough, but this is all right. You, no, know, you know better than that. Come uh, okay, on, you know better enough. than that. The, the, this is how we generally assess science, scientific theories, right? They make predictions, precise predictions for data, okay? Using right? assumptions and theories they have. No, no but hang, hang, hang on. But you, you, can, you can validate those with the data. I That's agree, point, I right? agree. So you agree. agree. you agree that general relativity is validated by yep. data, yep. right? Yep. Why do you think that? Because it confirms what the theory predicts. Right, so we made a very precise prediction, for example... But no one right? denies that before looking at the data, you have an assumption, you have a theory. Yeah, Even but the question is, the question is, the question is not whether you have assumptions. The question is, is whether your conclusion has to rely on your starting assumptions. Because if that's true, then you have a circularity problem. However, if you get to a point where the data could either confirm or disconfirm your theory, right, then that data, then you can say, well, if it can, keeps coming back consistent with the data, then you have overwhelming evidence. That's what overwhelming evidence is. Yes, but that's still, no, 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 like, okay, but in right? this context, the origination probabilities and the transition probabilities are still there. And those assumptions, they affect what the data is telling you. No, no, no. Okay, so let's, let's take an example. 
right? Let's take an example of the um, human, the, the, what I was talking to you. Let's, do, tra about. let's do transition. Let's take, let's take the chromosome fusion yep. prediction, right? Well, no, let's take another one. Let's take the nano uh, P8 pseudogene, right? If it must be the case, right, would you agree? It must be the case that if evolution is true, that nano P8, right, is is the youngest pseudogene, right? Not necessarily. Why would it not be the case? Because if we begin off, because you said necessarily, and that's the word I disagree with. If we begin off with different probabilities, that will change the entire tree of life and uh, all okay, of the things. It doesn't do you agree with that? It doesn't change. It, does, it has nothing to do. Okay. okay, okay. So, it, uh, here's let, what I think. Here's what I think. Let, I let, think let me look at this piece of data. You, right? you, you know you're talking to that guy. What is his name? Um, Chris. Chris. Yeah. I'm going to give you two different scenarios. Hey, 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 let me just make this point. Sorry. Okay. So if you if you have, let's take the nano PA. So, so just to explain, obviously you're filming this, right? I need to explain what the case is, right? So you have this pseudo gene called nano, right? And what nano has is a bunch of pseudo genes. So these are genes that have been disabled, right? Now, um, if you look at human nano pseudo genes and you compare them to chimp human nano genes, what you find is they've got the same sort of malfunction in they've got the same pseudo genes basically so they've got like the same error right that in itself is evidence for evolution because we think that is that being, does, on, does that finish, mean it's categorical let me finish the argument right so but it gets better than that because there's one pseudo gene that is unique in humans that's not in chimps okay so that nanoxido gene um, has to be the youngest one, right? So, if it wasn't, right, then you can't explain what, well, let's put it this way. If human chimp outcome analysis is true, you, you, have to, you make the prediction that the one that humans only have, we couldn't have got them through common ancestry, right? So that must have evolved after the split, right? So not only must it be the youngest one, it must also be not just arbitrarily young, it must also be after the split. So if we think the split happened about six million years ago, then it must be, you know, if it was the youngest one, but it was 10 million years old, then evolution would be in trouble, right? If it's younger and it's less than six million years old, then that's confirmed, right? This confirming will be older and not the youngest. Lastly, right, the, um, we think that the um, Neanderthal split with humans about, I think it's about two million, I, I had all this data when we did our debate, so I don't know off the top of my head, but I think it's about two million years ago, right? Um, point is, whatever it was, right, it, if it's more recent than the, the um, nano P date, right, then it should be the case that Neanderthals have the nano P pseudogene, the nano PA pseudogene, right? So you've got three things there that could either support the hypothesis of common ancestry to be confirming or it could be disconfirming so if nano p8 was not the youngest if it was before if it was older than six million years and if it's not in the neanderthal genome right so you've got three independent tests there right every single one came back in favor of the common ancestry hypothesis so when you when you get oh, many many things piling up right and all coming back in favour of the hypothesis. That's what we call no, evolution. No, why, why would why, why would say with that? Why I would say with that? That's an incomplete picture, because if we make the transition probability close to zero and the origination probability close to one, then the separate ancestry hypothesis will be stronger than common ancestry, because the transition probability was going to be close to zero. It doesn't matter. Like it, it makes, does matter, Phil. It, I don't think it does. Okay. Right? If okay, let me ask you this question. You gave this uh, this example. Yeah. The transition probabilities being close to zero would mean, okay, would mean that if we add the origination probabilities being close to one, then you would get different implications on the data that you just highlighted. No, but all you're doing is, right, so you're going like, you're trying to We're go going from origin of life and trying to move forward using these probabilities. Yeah. But the data, you can go have you heard of way. Have you heard of Sober's paradox on this? Sober's paradox. Yeah. Um, I have. I. I have to say. If you did, then you would know about origination right, transition right, right, okay, probabilities. Okay, okay. I, I did read Sober's book, but the point is. Expl you, you explain. Explain the, the paradox. Can you explain you, the paradox? You can go, no, I don't recall it. I, as I said. Right. Shall I? But, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So look, when it comes to origination probabilities and transition probabilities, these two probabilities are linked. 
you cannot deny, you can't, you can't separate out the two. And the problem is, in most of our discourse, we don't talk about transition probabilities, we don't talk about origination probabilities. So the problem that currently exists is this. Whenever you're talking about the tree of life, the assumption is that the origination event was unique. That's the assumption. You have to assume that it's unique. You certainly have to assume, well, you don't, I think that here's the point. You, the, the question of what was the probability of the first life to fall is a very interesting question. But if we're looking at this piece, pieces of evidence for human chimp common ancestry, we don't need to worry about what that probability is. That's not true. Was. That, no, it that, is true. No, no, that's because, not true. No, it is true because the, the, because the hypothesis makes particular predictions. Right. So let's suppose, right, you, you have... Yeah, well, let's say it was one in a billion chance of a first life form evolving, right? But now let's suppose you change it to one in two billion, right? Now, the Why not? What, whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh, no, no, it, it does, doesn't matter. I'll, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. The prediction that you make for the nano P8 pseudogene date will be unchanged. No, it will not. How would it change? I'll tell you exactly how it will change. If the transition probability is close to, one, uh, is close to zero, and the origination probability is close to one, then you can have multiple origins happening, almost an infinite, almost an infinite type, and you can have parallel lines of evolution, and you can have the hypothesis of separate ancestry being stronger than common ancestry. So everything is dependent upon. It doesn't well, no, matter. It, 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 it does. It does matter. Are you telling me that the origination probability and the transition probability doesn't change the downward stream predictions you're going to make? Of course yeah, it does. No, I don't think it does because. But you didn't hear about the origination and transition. Again, you're making this about me. You look at the data, you look at the papers. No, but if, right? you, if you don't right. know how the tree of life is constructed, right. how are we going to take your prediction seriously? It's not because not my prediction is about. Yeah, this so is, you should know right, the again, scientists are making again, these assumptions. Again, no, no, but the point is those predictions don't change, right? If you they, even if you change the origination transition? It doesn't matter. Because yeah. I'll tell you why. I'll, I'll give you categorical evidence. Okay, yeah, I'll give you categorical evidence. Hey, 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 shall, I give you, shall I give you a concrete let example? Just, let, me just, let me just make this point, right? Okay? Let's put it this way, right? Let's suppose we wanted to know, right, if you and I um, shared the same grandparents. Okay? So... Let's suppose you, we want to know whether you and I were cousins, right? So all we need to find out is, do we have the same grandparents? Because if we're cousins, we must have the same grandparents, correct? Right. Right? Now, if we change the origin of life probabilities, right, from one in a billion to one in two billion, does it change the fact that if we discover that we have the same grandparents, that you and I are cousins. Does that change? I think I think that's a that, that, no no that, that's a disanalogy. No, that is exactly no 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 that, that that's that, that is exactly no 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 no. I'll, 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 does it? No. Would you agree? It's a disanalogy. You, all right, but it may be a disanalogy. Would no, it is a disanalogy. I'll explain why. I'll explain why. One thing at a time. Would you agree though? We can de debate whether it's analogous. We'll leave that for the moment, right? But would you agree that if we establish that we have the same grandparents? then we can conclude, independent of whatever the origin of life probability is, that we are cousins. Absolutely. Right. Okay. So That's, that's a complete point. disanalogy, no, though. But it is not I'll explain why. Can I explain why? Go ahead. Okay. The origin of life, yeah, I got, I got probability go. being close to one, yeah. would mean that there's multiple origins. So this analogy would not work, as in this analogy, there's only one origin. No, there isn't only one origin. There so you basically be, concluded no, 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 what you're supposed to be no, proving. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Right. Okay. Do you see why the disanalogy no, is no, there? No, okay, okay, okay. I'll explain why. If we are right, cousins and if we have grandparents, then that can be confirmed through independent evidence. That's what you're basically saying. I'm saying is if we confirmed that we shared a grandparent, yeah. then we must be cousins. Right. right? Independent. Do you not see the problem? Do you not see how that's disanalogous no, 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 to the origination no, 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 no. probability? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, but you never heard of the I'm origination probability is, before again, we spoke about them. It's not about me. It's not about me. No, because all it, the papers in the if you don't literature. know the science, then right. how can you make these predictions? Right, because I didn't make them. That's the whole point of it. I didn't. Other okay. people did. Then how? Right. How come? No, 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 hang on, hang on. Okay, so I'll give I'll give you I'll give you an example. Okay, my friend here, just just come here for a second. When he explained to you the evidence for common ancestry. Did he explain it in a way that's probabilistic or categorical? 
overwhelming evidence. But, but you never, I, but you never told my friend about the origination and the transition probabilities because it does matter. matter. Let me explain to you why transition probabilities okay, no, matter. No, 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 Let me explain point, why. Let me reply to it. Have you heard of John Baptiste Lamarck and his independent evolutions? Can you? Can I reply to your point? Sure, sure. Right. Because it seems to me that what you want to do, right, is say, have you heard of this? Have you heard of that? Have you heard of this? Because you're not right? learning on the because, topic. Because it doesn't matter about me. You're trying to no, make No, but you're speaking about, about the topic, you're, but you're not no, sure no, about no. it. You, you, look, you look at the papers, right? You look at what the paper... You, everyone should do this. Go and look up the chimp genome sequence paper published by all of the like, major genome sequencing population. And you should see what their conclusion is. The conclusion is that the data overwhelmingly supports human chimp. Based on what assumptions? Right. Based on what you, assumptions? Wait, wait, hang on, one thing at a time. No, one based on what assumptions? Time. One thing at a time, Scott. No, I'm asking right, you, based right, on no, what no, assumptions? One thing at a time, right? So that's Go on. what they're saying. Right, so you want to make this about me, but it isn't okay, about. Okay, but, but okay, fine. fine. It isn't about. It's about the paper. Right. It's about the paper. It's about the data. So, right? no, so no, 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 what, no, what, what assumptions are in the paper? What assumptions right. are there for origination and transition? What are the assumptions? I don't think it matters what the origin. That's the whole point. It does. Can I? Can I? Can I tell you? Let me try and reply to your point. No, no. Let me respond to this point. Let me respond to this point. Okay, go on. According to Darwin. Yeah. He believed the power of natural selection was to be able to transform anything into anything else. So according to him, the transition probability was close to one. And according to Darwin and according to Richard Dawkins and other biologists, they believe the origination probability is close to zero. However, if we change that, if we change the origination probability being close to one, and the transition probability being close to zero, meaning transition, yeah, we can't you transition. Know. We have different implications. Now, the other thing to keep in mind, something you said to my friend, is you made a distinction between common ancestry and the Darwinian mechanism, but these two are linked. If the mechanism breaks down, you cannot claim common ancestry. I disagree. I disagree. How? Because, okay, let, let's suppose that there was some other mechanism, right? Well, in fact, there are other mechanisms, right? We know that we have natural selection, but you also have genetic drift, right? So, you, there could be other mechanisms, right? Maybe ones we don't know about. The fact is that if you have... Um, let, let's put it this way, right? I, I could do a genetic test and find that I'm descended from my parents, right? We've confirmed that my parents are who I think they are, right? But it wouldn't tell me whether it was sexual reproduction or IVF. They're two different mechanisms that I could have been born, but it doesn't matter. It's just irrelevant, right? The fact is, if the genetic test comes back and it says they are my parents, I don't need to know what the mechanism of how I got here is. It just doesn't matter, right? So, common ancestry is not... I agree that there's a relation between... Natural selection is the popular method of how evolution occurs. But it's not the only method, certainly there are others, right? And you, some people say sexual selection is a different mechanism to natural selection, right? But that, that doesn't matter, right? Because you can do genetic... If you take the example that I gave, right? If it's the case that humans uh, and chimps share a common ancestry, right? You can, you can have different assumptions about these things, but you are still going to predict that nano P8 must be in the Neanderthal genome. Right. Okay, so can, can, can I can I take, yeah, what, you're can yeah. I take what you're saying? Can I take what you're saying and change the variables? Because we just have to go. It's exactly no, but can I, can, last, last, question. Can the no, 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 last question. La, la, last question. La, la, look, last thing. Yeah. If we change the transition probabilities, and we change the origination probabilities, and the mechanism itself, we say that it, it, it can't work. Say Darwinian evolution can't work, and the transition probability is close to zero, and the origination probability is close to one then that means that separate ancestry makes a lot more sense than common ancestry under those assumptions. Well, I would say that you're, you're, you're trying to go from these probabilities to common ancestry, right? Oh, what separate I'm ancestry. Is, is that you can do these other tests, right, that are independent confirmation or disconfirmation, depending on what the data comes back as. And if the data comes back confirming, then you can just say that's enough right? no no that's not if you if, if you were saying that i wouldn't have no problem my problem is, my problem is you think the origination and transition probabilities make no difference to your conclusions i'm saying i'm saying 
that th these these tests, right? If you change, let's say, the origin of life probability, and right? and transition is zero. Well, you would agree. You would you'd agree that in the case of your grandparent, it didn't matter. You would agreed on that. I already explained to you why no, that no, was no, a no, disanalogy. You think it's not analogous. You think it's not analogous, but you would agreed on that. Correct? Of course, yeah, of course, but that's, right, that's right, a mute right. point. Okay, okay, okay. Right, I'm saying it is analogous because just as you and I would be cousins if we had the same grandparents, right? So similarly, we and Neanderthals would share a common. No, but the grandparent is just a common. The answer, point that you're right? supposed to prove, so, so, you've so, assumed. So, 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 no, I know. Because we're talking about the same case. species and two different species. No, no, but that's not the case, right? If it was the case. That what I just assumed is what I got as a conclusion, right? Then, then you would have this circular argument. I would agree with you. Right? No, but frankly, so, but I, I, I think you don't understand those case, probabilities. I'll explain to you why. Again, I'll ask no, you one no, no, question. No, no, no. There's one question. Against the ball. No, no, no. Let me. No, no, you didn't let me finish your point. Go on, go on. You didn't let me finish your point. And I did say this had to be the last point, right? Because I do have to go. Fine. Right. Um, so, so this is going to be the last point, right? Talk. Sure. The point is that you can get data that would, independent of what those probabilities are. That's not true. Right? Give you confirmation or disconfirmation. If it were the case that humans and chimps were not descended from a common ancestor, right, then there's no reason to expect that the nano P8 is the youngest pseudo -chimp. There's okay. no reason to expect that it would be in the, human, in the Neanderthal genome. There's no reason to expect that it would be dated at lower than the split between six million years. I get it. All three of those things okay. came back. Can, can, I, can I do a logical symmetry? Can I do a logical symmetry in what you're saying? You can, and then I'm okay. not going to apply okay. to Similarities okay. are due to common descent, right? Could we not make a logical symmetry argument that dissimilarities are due to separate ancestry, such as orphan genes? It's... It's, it's logical we're symmetry. Not, we're not saying similar. No, because we're not no. saying similarities or give us common sense. We're not saying that. That's not the argument. What's the argument then? I already gave the argument, and if you didn't follow no, it, no, but then do, that's your do, do, do you have so a look at? I have to go. I did say six hours. Okay, to okay, go, okay, no worries. It is now, no worries. Six forty-five almost. Okay. Thank you very much. It was very interesting. Cheers. Okay. What he said to you before. And now the transition and origination probabilities. Yeah. Do you see the difference between the two now? Of course they do. And if you change assumptions, but you never heard of origination and transition probabilities. I don't heard of it either, but I understand the concept. Yeah. And he's completely took it for granted. And even when you change assumptions, he doesn't understand the change the data and the conclusion after. It's just obvious. You caught him at the end. He is assume this conclusion from, from the get-go yeah. so it was a complete disanalogy yeah. because we're the same species when we're talking about cousins yeah. versus when we're talking about the split so, so look right in the beginning the reason why I went and spoke to him is because Ali Dawa said he wants to talk to you and he disregarded that he disregarded that so where's Ali? I need to talk to Ali so anyway JazakAllah khair for the joining in it's good because you went in there to speak to him first your mic he's gone on the mic <laughs> oh my god he took his just the mic bro uh, Faisal, you did a, you did me a favor. I know. Because you went in there, you got him to talk and talk and talk, and I used that conversation. I said, why didn't you tell my friend that? Why did you only give him half the picture? I did when they were talking about probabilities. I said, if you think that's what connected to evolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, you better pick up on that line. Faisal says to him, you're not sad about it. Someone smart as him, yeah? does not understand the philosophy of science. He doesn't understand how the assumptions no, no. change the whole picture. Bro, from the beginning, he didn't want to talk to me. <laughs> Did not want to I couldn't believe how hard it was for him to accept that if you change the probabilities for transition that it would uh, no, so create funny. You're talking about the actual concept, the very important assumptions that change the whole picture. He's stuck in nuances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, talking yeah, yeah. about the he always does point, that, the this, the law, like, but, well, this is all relevant if this does not make sense. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, that's yeah. all I'm saying. 100%. Because yeah. look, if the yeah. transition probabilities are... Um, close to zero, yeah. nothing can transform to anything yeah, else because yeah, yeah. there's no mechanism. Exactly. If origination probabilities like are close to one, which is John Baptiste Lamarck mm -hmm. believed, you'll have millions of origins, millions of independent lines of evolution. No, just like the uh, allegation hand waves no that too. Yeah, yeah. If you don't look, it doesn't exist. <laughs>